Hello, this is the bulletin board template at SharePoint dashboards.com. As you can see, this allows you to display a bulletin board on a SharePoint page, which can have notes that are adjusted dynamically by interacting with the settings for each note. Each note can have a different width and can be positioned anywhere as needed on the board. They can be moved around dynamically by adjusting the settings. When you first go to the page, you can see a preview to help you understand how the settings will look once you deploy the template. There are many different options for the look and feel. What I recommend is to check out some of these theme options. In the bottom of the template, there are 20 different background image options, so you can browse those and go through the options. Or if you prefer, you can just do a regular background color for your template, whichever you prefer. The interactive setting controls whether this gear icon appears in the upper right. You should create one view that allows this interactive settings menu to appear and then also a second view which will be displayed on your SharePoint page so that you don't have users unnecessarily making adjustments to your board. So let's jump into SharePoint and take a look at how this works. The first thing we need to do is get our fields created. We'll need the standard title field, which is always included in every SharePoint list. And then additional to that, we're going to need to add some more fields. We need a multi-line plain text field called content. We need a number field for the width that should default to 240. We need fields called position X and position Y. These also be number fields holding integer values. This helps to record where the card is going to be located on the board. We'll need a yes, no column called lock. And this is controlling whether or not a particular note is locked for editing. This is related to the settings, which we'll review in a second. And then last, we need a choice field called BG color which will have our different background color options. There are six, those are listed here on the screen. So just make sure that you start by creating those options. I've already set up my options in the SharePoint list. We do need to make sure we show all of these fields in our view, and then we're going to be ready to go. We'll go back to SharePoint and let's go ahead and start with our default settings. I will go ahead and click copy template and we're gonna leave interactive mode on in this example. Just follow the directions in that window, and now we're ready to paste. So I can go to the view selector dropdown, go to format current view, and then in advanced mode, I can go ahead and paste in my template, and that will go ahead and show us our board. Let me go ahead and give it a refresh. And there it is. Okay, let's see how the interactive mode works. So I've got my very small note here for FIGS project. When I click on the gear, you can see the appearance changes. I've got a menu down in the bottom, and this allows me to move the note around using the arrows. I can also adjust the width up and down as needed, and then change the background color if I wish to one of six options. And then in the upper left, I could delete this note if I needed to, or if I actually want to adjust the text, I can do that here. So let's go ahead and add some more text in and save. And you'll see the height is going to adjust automatically. Once I'm done with those settings, I can just close that interactive mode by clicking the gear icon again, and it goes back to a regular view. Now we also want to set up another view with the interactive mode turned off. I've already done that, and this is using a different background. We're using an image in this case, and this is what we want to display on our SharePoint page. For that view, we want to make sure we deselect the interactive mode. You'll notice the gear icon goes away, and now we have a non-interactive version of the board, which we can use for our SharePoint page. In order to display this on a SharePoint page, you'll simply add the list web part to the page and then select the corresponding view for your 
bulletin board, and then it will display that on the page. And notice this one is not interactive. So this gives me a nice, friendly looking bulletin board where I can have any settings I want for background colors, note sizes, and locations on this board. And I can adjust the background as well. So lots of dynamic capabilities for this template. This bulletin board template is available at SharePoint-Dashboards.com. If you have not yet used SharePoint Dashboards, you can go to the site to sign up to get access to 21 free templates. This template is included as part of the subscription options, uh, which allows you full access to all uh, 224 templates as of this video. I hope you found that useful and good luck.